Hello traders my name is Samurai Trader and I love day trading my job is to teach you how to day trade the world's best day trading strategies no matter which market you trade futures Forex or stocks in today's video we're going to be just doing something a little bit different I'm going to be offering you uh, the opportunity to download a free copy of my compound contract spreadsheet calculator what a mouthful <laughs> and the purpose of this spreadsheet is to really illustrate uh, how quickly you can actually build your trading account so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do this so it's both an informational video and a how-to video so you can click on the description link below for instant access to download the spreadsheet but also make sure you subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with such offers like this that I run from time to time so first of all I do need to pull up a disclaimer let me get this here there is a risk in trading the illustrations I'm going to uh, give you are no means a guarantee of course every trader is going to have different results and that's the whole reason why traders need a coach to get them on the right track so moving right along we already know this trade is that trading is a business one of the unfortunate factors in trading is that most traders just treat it as a hobby look if you're going to treat trading as a hobby you're really better off buying a boat or going on a holiday because you need to plan your trades and trade your plan now specifically in today's session as I mentioned we're going to be looking at how to set our income goals and how quickly we can build our account doing it conservatively look there are lots of videos around to show how you can build your account to millions within a year etc but let's talk about how we build our account sensibly and stay in the business and I have a saying there are old traders there are bold traders but there are no old bold traders meaning most traders blow their account multiple times they end up with so much psychological damage they no longer wish to trade so let's look at this realistically now a big thing in putting together a trading plan is why are you trading what do you hope to achieve from your trading and I think Tony Robbins said this that when your why is big enough the how will appear so I think it's absolutely essential that a trader has goals and objectives what are your income targets starting off with a conservative realistic target and building from there so there are lots of other things that we'd normally take in consideration but let's set or, or this video and focus on income targets now many of you have heard me use this and seen this slide I've, I've used this slide many times and said this many times that everyone wants to see the view from the top of the mountain but few are willing to do the work required to get to the top and it's so important that we set our trading goals because once again when the when you know the why is big enough the how does appear so this is what this is about I think I've said that enough times so let's get into it first of all if you're a member watching uh, this video I've got over 9,000 members by the way uh, in the members area there are a number of calculators and a lot of these have been provided by other members so I've got to, with over 9,000 members we've got some very astute full-time traders so if you go into the members area you'll see that your trading plan and you'll see a whole range of different types of calculators uh, uh, we've got um, uh, earnings this one here was from Dave uh, from Seattle one of our long-term uh, uh, traders that trades a CL he's a, a version with a little video how he uses it then we've got uh, Raymond one of our um, uh, members from Southeast Asia uh, rather than focus on the dollars this is a, a really interesting little calculator where what's your daily account requirement so say if you're after $200 a day here we input the tick value of the instrument your commission and it tells you then on your win-loss ratio how many trades a day you need to take for some traders rather than focusing on the dollars they like to focus on the number of trades now very important with the spreadsheet I'm about to show you first of all we're assuming that you never ever risk any more than 
2% per trade very very important so what that means is if you're trading a $1,500 micro account whether it be the Nasdaq or the ES you've got a maximum stop loss there of $30 if you're say trading <coughs> excuse me the ES or CL the black gold oil the Texas T uh, your maximum stop to stay within your 2% rule is 7,000 so if you've got a larger account and you're trading Forex your maximum stop there within the 2% rule is 200 uh, if you'll say trading a micro account you've got a thousand dollars in your account it would be $20 or 20 mini pips okay this is very very important break your money management rules or your maximum risk rules you'll lose money now just a couple of very quick illustrations here so let's just say here you're trading the micro NQ what is very important is what is the overnight or the day margin your broker requires so if we look at this sum here with TradeStation who is my broker we can see down here on the mini Nasdaq it's uh, where's the mini here we are $1,760 so if you're trading during the Globex hours that is after hours you need to have up to nearly 1800 in your account it's only 25% of that during the New York hours however don't forget you've got to allow that or remember your risk margin so if you only need to say have $400 in your account okay are you going to stay within that risk parameter of what's 2% of $400 what is that $8 so that's going to be a bit low so even though your broker says you only need 25% you need to allow um, that 2% rule uh, up here at the e-minis 12,000 now at the moment the margins are high because we've got the earning seasons at the moment look down at Bitcoin uh, $120,000 and there's no day trading margin okay so depending on which market you trade you do need to take that in into account so let's just say with $1,700 account you're trading the micro ES or the NQ uh, and you're earning $50 a day and you're staying within your 2% rule so it means that you've got a $34 risk okay and which is plenty when you're day trading one of those micros so what it tells us here is based upon this calculator sheet it means that we're going to be up to have the potential to be earning $10,000 within 30 weeks and how the sheet works traders is that uh, you start off with 1700 it doesn't add another contract until you've doubled your money so we've we're earning $250 a week we leave that in once we have another 1700 in our account we can now start to trade two contracts and so forth that is how the calculator now for any members watching all you need to do that uh, to achieve that is two net to be $27 trades a day that's all you need to achieve that now uh, let's just take an allowance here say if you're trading the micro ES the micro ES you get a lot, lot less volatility than say the NQ but you might be happy with that market so you only need $1,400 in your account if you're trading overnight now if you're trading during the New York hours when you've got the day trading margin you actually need to be allowing $875 so if you're trading uh, the New York hours you need a, you can you really only require 875 because uh, if you're trading a, say a four tick Renko Okay, and you've got a buy sell stop there is $17.50 now what that means is traders I've got a 14 tick stop now if you were trading the big contract that would be $175 if you're trading the micro it's only $17.50 so one of the advantages of the micro you can have really nice big wide stops so you only need three um, what we call eight step trades and you're there or even less okay so with this we're up to a 10,000 a week within 25 weeks so just show you a couple of others just to give you a guide here now if you're trading the Australian dollar currency futures or if you're trading the Aussie dollar Forex okay and 
one of the great advantages of trading say the AD or the EC you've usually got some sort of volatility there it's a, and as my members know in the coaching room we absolutely love I love the Aussie dollar it's a great market to be trading now here this is a very realistic target of $100 a day and the great thing is if you're trading the one tick Australian dollar your maximum size stop is going to be $30 so you within that gives you a 1500 you really require about 1500 in your account here I've allowed 2200 and on $100 a day I'm up to my 10,000 a week within 17 weeks one more example uh, this is trading the big contract okay so we're trading either the black or the black gold CL ES Nasdaq it might be gold etc with a $5,000 account now with this I'm assuming here what's 2% uh, of 5,000 $100 so what it means trade this is the maximum risk I can have is $100 a trade and with all of this being set on all of these I recommend that all traders have a buffer particularly if you're a newer trader allow an extra thousand dollars you always want to stay within that 2% rule let's be conservative remember this is a business and we're here to make serious money which means serious attention to our account size our targets and our risk management now here I've got a $5,000 account and I'm averaging $200 a day now what does that represent and we'll, we'll have a look at that as well uh, and by the way in the when you download the spreadsheet I will give you the minute so you can skip a lot of this and go straight to uh, where I give actual instructions how to use this but I think this um, background information is very very important initially so to earn $200 a day you need three uh, and for any members watching this 2Bs now the 2B trade is a good 80 to 85 percent accurate it's a very high probability trade uh, as a day trade you see dozens of them in every market okay uh, when I want to say dozens across a number of markets you might typically during the New York session have 10 to 20 2B setups it's a pattern that appears okay so you're after three a day with your trading ES oil the Nasdaq gold uh, whether you're trading for it it doesn't matter the, the 2b pattern appears on every market and every time frame so typically here we look we'd say trading a 500 tick ES chart or a 233 tick CL or a two or four tick Renko now what it means is three good trades a day after commissions and I've got my 200 a day and on 200 a day I'm up to 10,000 a week within 15 to 16 weeks this is the true potential so let's go to the spreadsheet because I need to just give you some instructions on how to use it first of all I give the disclaimer okay so remember this is of course a projection for setting your goals now where I talk about a 10,000 a week income your personal income goals may only be 100 uh, many of the younger traders I have in the coach are, okay if I've got targets of five or six hundred a day which will vary of course <laughs> massively their compound effect but what I say to all traders is this as you build your account you lower the risk so let's take this as an example so I've got say a $10,000 account and what's 2% of 10,000 it is it actually happens to be $200 as well but it means that I can have up to a $200 risk exposure on this account okay but let's um, uh, talk about day trading for a moment now typically if you're day trading uh, the ES let's take the ES for an example uh, our typical stops going to be a maximum of eight ticks which is $100 so what that means is we need 5,000 2 percent of 5,000 is 100 let's allow that buffer so let's just say here that we're going to allow per contract six six thousand uh, dollars we've got a little buffer there our risk is never above that one hundred dollars and our daily target is 
$200 what this tells me is by week 18 I'm up to my 10,000 a week by week 14 I'm up to uh, where are we here 5,000 a week so whatever your goal may be what if you wanted to be conservative okay so let's just say here my daily target is $100 so here we can see by week over here 35 I'm up to my 5,000 uh, 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 a week now I'm about to show you and give you some quick ideas uh, how you can also do this and achieve these sorts of figures I'll just do it very very quickly in a moment okay so that's on a 2% rule so what if uh, you want to drop your risk down to 1% so what I'd be doing is changing that to 12 and actually we still just leave leave a $1,000 buffer okay so let's change this to $11,000 so what that means is traders with an 11 whoops I better put that extra uh, it's going crazy there um, 11 1 2 3 okay so what I've got here is $11,000 so I've got 10,000 plus a 1,000 buffer and so my goal with an account that size is $200 a day so by risking no more than 1% per trade or $100 targeting 200 a day we can see here I've hit my 5,000 a week income within here 24 weeks and I'm happy with that 1% risk 200 a day realistically achievable okay now let's talk about the micros here or those with a smaller account so let's just say here that you're going to trade during the New York hours and let's not go for the bare minimum uh, targets or, or account sizes that brokers tell you can have so let's just say here that you're going to trade either the ES or the Nasdaq with $1,500 during the New York hours and your target is $50 a day whoops $50 a day so basically uh, let's just say on $1,400 allow a little buffer there of $100 uh, that means I could have a stop loss here of around what is that $28 $30 there so I've got a good size stop loss for the micros remember the micros are 10% of a big contract so you'd add an added zero so what you're really effectively saying here is uh, on the big contract you'd have a $300 stop which as a day trader uh, that's large and most of my clients are either uh, scalpers or day traders now the bottom line is this based upon $50 a day and and every time we get another 1500 in the account we start trading an additional contract so that takes me seven weeks before I'm up to my second contract traders just remember where you are in five years time depends on what the actions that you undertake today just like time will pass anyway if you're conservative with your approach because I know you can compound a lot quicker but the best traders will tell you do it conservatively this will keep you in the game and you build your skill set you build your competence and your confidence this way you could double that okay or have a lot less in your account if you want to increase your risk but traders please don't do it if you day trade it's just not worth it so that's 50 day on the Nasdaq traders if you're trading either during the Globex hours um, or look let's actually say you're, you're trading during the Globex hours uh, the Globex hours is after uh, New York closes okay now with the Nasdaq you've got greater volatility you, you need a lot less in your account if you're going to trade the ES but with the Nasdaq realistically $100 a day after hours is a really good target and realistic what this shows me here is I can be up with a $2,000 account trading a second contract every time I get an additional 2,000 I can be up to my 10,000 a week within 15 weeks or have a the potential there within 12 weeks if it's $75 a day okay you can see there I'm up to my 10 grand a week in 22 weeks and so forth so this means that for every contract you've got to get another you add start to trade you've got to have an additional uh, 2,000 now let me say this because you'll be looking at this some of you will be going there's no way now we can execute 100 trades on the micros um, look at this 
thought well for a start no you don't trade us okay because what you're actually doing there is for every 10 micros you'd have 20,000 you can still use this the same great stops and you've built your account up over here where you've got 10 micros and you've got 22,000 in your account meaning you could start trading one big lot rather than the micros because with the micros the equivalent is uh, just say if you're with ninja trader if you're trading 10 micros you're going to pay around ten dollars in commissions uh, with trade station you're going to pay around um, thirteen dollars where if you're trading uh, a, a larger contract say the NQ not the MNQ you're going to be paying uh, say less around five dollars down to four dollars so you're saving a lot in commissions uh, so the Nasdaq and the ES the micro Nasdaq and the micro ES easily would handle 20 to 30 contracts but once you're starting to get up to this level just the commissions alone can really eat in so there you'd be trading four standard lots you go up to five you go up to six so you, you're not going to be trading 100 based upon these figures you'd be trading 10 standard lots and earning 37,000 a week based upon that would be 750 a day now if you can do it on the micros you can do it exactly the same thing on the big contracts so uh, let's just say here that you're going to be trading um, let's just say for our Forex traders you've got a $500 account and you're going for just say $20 a day trading Forex okay we can see here it takes us uh, here up to week 28 on $20 a day on a micro now this is though uh, never risking any more than 2% so there 2% that means you've got a $10 stop or 10 um, uh, pips in that case or mini pips but I'd recommend you build uh, and by the way I should say this I recommend you build your commissions into that as well or your spread which is important now what I did want to show you okay well this all looks good so, so let's just go here we've got um, a six thousand uh, dollar CL account and I want to be earning two hundred dollars a day how are we going to do that okay well let's just have a quick look at some ideas for you very quickly this is going beyond what I wanted to do but let's just look at this here so as you can see I have multiple screens here and, and as you build your account you can do that so uh, what we're looking at here traders is a Renko chart so during the after hours market I love the two tick sometimes even the one tick Renko during New York generally the last year has been really tough much lower volumes but generally speaking during the New York house I'd have a four tick Renko okay now what that means is is that every one of these little step downs you can see there is worth ten dollars okay now I use three charts so I have what we call the entry the anchor chart one anchor chart two uh, let's just take this this day today now today is in the US it's the fourth of the fifth okay uh, fifth month that is of course your figures around differently let's just have a quick look at the open of the Globex session okay so we are in the Globex session this is just a, a random day so um, when the market first opened we've got to give it a few minutes to settle down and it opens up at 1800 uh, New York time okay now usually you're waiting a good um, uh, see that there 1800 it's not till here we actually start to get some trading opportunities and any members that are watching you can see there that you've actually got a 2d and that would actually be a loss all right so here if I was you trading the super scope or the white paint bar we're in on the close of the third uh, one two three four look that's look, that's a five tick you probably go to break even and have a break even trade okay so let's just call that call it a loss break even it doesn't matter and your risk on a two tick if I use the buy stop my risk is $80 so well under the $5,000 requirement if I don't if because it's Globex if I don't need to use a buy stop uh, my risk is only $70 a trade all right in here so away we go again one two three four five six seven and I should say I'm after $80 a trade all right which is a one-to-one -one minimum okay got a, got another one there so here we've got another one we're going to break even at 
plus six one two three four five six seven your touch date you probably weren't filled on eight but let's just be realistic we come back here and I've got another entry all right there's my bounce look at the trend on your anchor charts and there's very specific things that we're looking at for example you had a beautiful divergence here but that was the open all right so away we go okay so already I've just had um, a one two three I've had it let's say that was a loss that was we couldn't trade that the market just opened so what we're after is another winner to, to get us to our 200 up we go all right one two three four five six seven eight there you go so what this means is there we just had three we actually had four winning uh, eight tick trades in a row and 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 I'll and I'll talk to you the runners look we can I'll tell you how we pick up the runners so that exceeds that but the important thing here is looking at this spreadsheet here uh, I was well within my risk management rule in fact uh, you could easily be allowing five thousand dollars per contract with oil when you're trading the two tick and look where we are with our income within 15 weeks uh, now let's just have a look at one more example shall we let's look at uh, the ES right now uh, for those traders by the way that trade uh, using tick or time-based chart it's exactly the same principles for an example I'll even show you perhaps on the ES so what I've got here is the ES as well let's actually go back to where we are now um, so this is currently live right now uh, it is 17 18 in my part of the world and London is just waking up so within the next 45 minutes the London market is open so the last couple of hours of the Australian session here we can see we nearly every day go into chop all right because you sort of the Asia markets closing off getting slow everyone's getting ready for the London breakouts as they call it so let's just go back and let's just have a look at the start of today shall we all right now the start of today because we're working on central standard time now we're going to look at uh, at 1700 so when the market closes the CME closes off their computers they reboot and the market reopens at uh, 1700 which is um, uh, 6 p.m. Uh, let me get that right yeah which is what's at 6 p.m. Eastern isn't it I'm getting it wrong that's a uh, five oh look I'm getting my I'm getting all screwed up on that um, 1700 how's that a eh? I'm uh, uh, sorry that is right it's 1800 it opens up you can tell I've had a long day so um, CL opens up at um, uh, 1800 all right uh, 6 p.m. the um, uh, on the e-minis they open up on using uh, Chicago time basically so let me get that right all right as I say traders my videos are always very raw real and unedited so that's what we call the X open the globe X open okay so market opens let me just check the time we want to give it five minutes to settle down and seven minutes after we would have had a losing trade just there okay look at our trend we've got a lovely uptrend we've got an entry just there and it comes back and stops us out and that would have been a clear stop out quite frankly traders very very clear there now uh, with the stop out of course uh, if you believe in what you're doing in your probabilities you're going to get straight back in again so remember we believe in our probabilities when it comes to our trading so we're going to re-enter here and once again this is a two tick Renko meaning if I use a buy stop I'm going to enter one tick above and have my stop one tick below so I've got actually an eight tick stop if I use the buy stop here which guarantees me basically I'm going to be filled and it's going to get me away but that means on this market I've got a $100 risk right so I need to have a minimum of $5,000 now because this is after hours many brokers require a lot more in your account than 5,000 so that's where if you trade say this market with a smaller account during New York and once the market reopens for the globe accession you can start trading five or four micros which is 10% of the size each micro so I've got an eight 
tick stop worst case it's probably going to be seven which is 8250 per contract and I'm after eight ticks profit so one right we want to go to break even at five to six between five and six ticks so one two three four five six seven here you're at break even you picked up probably only a point in that particular trade okay so now what am I waiting for uh, I'm here's my re-entry right here okay so I'm going to enter on the close of this candle if I can get away without a buy stop and get in on the close of this one uh, it means I've only got a seven tick stop now as I look at this traders we always will look at where's our target I know where my stop is one tick below here's my Globex open and I've also got the pivot above so that's a good logical stop right there for me and my stop will go one tick below so one two now here I've only ticked up three ticks and come down and it tested my low remember where I said we wanted to have our stop one tick below and the purpose of me showing you this is how do we get to our 200 a day all right up we go well here we're romping okay we've gone straight through the pivot okay now what I want you to notice is the strength of the trend right so my next trade entry will be a pullback and a trend continuation now if I look at this right here I've got no divergence on my anchor chart so I've got no divergence trades so I'm going to look for a trend continuation all right here it is right there now I've got two ways of entering this trade because of the strength of a trend I can enter on this first candle what you'd actually see is a green candle there to go long or you have what we call a get ready get set and on the third candle my paint bar plots that gives me another entry so what am I after traders I'm after eight ticks which is what $100 one two three four five six set uh, hang on let's say we used to buy stop one two three four five now I've only touched six now I get my eight now see how we get in a really nice run and just on that point how do we pick up the runners okay the home runs realistically well that's where we can use say our ATR or you can use a parabolic stop so if we go and look at say the ATR um, which is just one way here we can pick up now that's a very finely um, adjusted but which would have got us out here but it also gives us a re-entry or we can use something like this and let's just see how we go with this Jake Bernstein who's been in the business for many many years of course has what he's called he calls his eight by eight strategy so let me just show you this because I think it's useful just to see that you can pick up these home runs and you can this is how we get our 400 600 800 a day so see this just let me just pull this down for you and we're going to then finish wrap this up okay so see this here see the blue line here and see the white dots it's actually a moving average but see how they never cross so you actually have an exit signal on that yellow here's your entry here's your exit and that's that will work on any platform it's just two moving averages okay and you can see there you've hit a home run there's two or three hundred dollars in that um, move there or on the micro twenty to thirty dollars and you saw on that spreadsheet the power of just fifty to one hundred dollars a day so getting back to this in summary I recommend even if you've only got sorry even if you've got 10 20 thirty thousand dollars why not consider starting to trade with the micros okay which on the ES on a lot of the markets on the uh, NQ they behave the same it's a great way of cutting the teeth aim for fifty dollars a day okay and then double your money two or three times then if you wish go to trading uh, a single contract a larger contract but this is how you build your wealth so in, finally I know this is a long video it's 34 minutes but I needed to really explain the philosophy behind this so when you put this figure in here I want you to make sure you put 
the, the contract value allowing no more than 2% risk okay so there it means we could actually have up to a $30 risk okay um, and on the micros and let me just quickly look I just should point this out here um, let's go back to my ES window so if we were looking at the micro here uh, let me just um, where have I got here we've got here now this is the micro um, chart just here so each one of those steps is worth um, uh, $1.25 so picking up your um, there your, your couple of $20 moves is easy now can I take the word back easy right because it's easy to, to, to get the moves but it's not easy to stay in the moves okay uh, like I'm a scalper but you can see there you had uh, one two three four five six seven eight that was a ten dollar move let's call that a break even that's a ten dollar move okay some of these others were ten dollar moves uh, that's another ten fifteen dollar move so there's your fifty dollars basically traders okay there's another one here now these entries here these are our mechanical 34 B's and 2 B entries okay now as we're coming up what are we now starting to look for let's have a look at this so as we're coming up here traders and building our account we're now looking at major divergence major divergence major divergence you know what we're going to do here now we're going to short this okay and go on keep coming down right bang and down we come based upon triple divergences anyway in summary uh, it's a great tool to be setting some goals make sure they're realistic to begin with uh, as you because it's, you don't want to be constantly um, disappointing yourself so set a realistic target with realistic money management rules so uh, please um, click on the link below you have to go and download the um, uh, the spreadsheet if you become a member you can go and visit my website and you'll find it there how to become a member it's $197 for all of my tools um, uh, all of my training uh, I um, at the moment we've got a special going eight live two-hour sessions you can join my group coaching sessions also if you wish and there's a whole range of different calculators and as I said members have provided these just incredible value so traders um, uh, download it and um, uh, Build your account. Thank you, traders. You'll see me on the next video.